Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Monster Creek Mushrooms, and today, well, I've been an idiot, and uh, I'm going to explain to you how I have covered for my idiocy. So, <laughs> so we'll just call this the idiot quick tip, or uh, the Andrew quick tip, synonymous. Not even a chuckle. All right. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't gonna say a word. So I totally ADD'd and uh, hyperactive my way right into opening our new grow room, which is right behind you. And uh, <laughs> before I had a humidifier. So the wonderful thing about this is, hopefully, uh, I had a backup humidifier, not a House of Hydro one. I really want that sweet, sweet, sweet hydro fog from House of Hydro, but. Uh, I've got to deal with what I've got for right now. So while I'm waiting for my House of Hydro humidifiers to come in, um, we are using our backup humidifier. And if you've watched any of my cleaning videos and have bought, according to my advice, you probably also already have this backup. So why don't I just show you what it is and quit mumbling about it, huh? Ta-da! Have you guessed what it is yet? <laughs> it's the pressure washer. If you just allow a low pressure pressure washer. <laughs> if we just allow a low pressure pressure washer that we use to clean the plastic walls and everything else with, you can use that to dampen down, you know, dampen your floor, your walls, and uh, kind of spray the air to, to raise the bulk humidity. Anyways, so you can use it to raise the bulk. <laughs> Are you doing that on purpose? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> um, it's been a while since Samantha and I've done a video together, huh? <laughs> so, um, you can use it to dampen the air behind, you know, the, like the air. As you're walking backwards, you can spray with your your uh, pressure washer like that to uh, increase the relative humidity in the air. Um, beyond that, you can wet down your plastic walls and floor. Your plastic walls and floor. You said wet down. I said wet down, but uh, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> to, to wet down the floor and the walls to so that they will evaporate and raise the relative humidity in the air. Sound effects. Sound effects. She got me some sound effects. <laughs> um, that being said, welcome to the new grow room, guys. Um, you can see this new room is actually decently sized. I mean, it's the same size as our room next door, except we don't have the PVC and wood shelves in it this time. Um, I know a lot of people have been talking to me about the rolling shelves, and so I decided to give them a try when we scooped them up off the... Uh, farm down in Atlanta that decided to sell out. Um, now these rolling shelves have worked out really well for our first try in the grow room. We've been using them for incubation for a while um, and for just regular work around the, the warehouse and I have loved them. So we really wanted to make sure that we got into grow rooms with the rolling shelves even though they're expensive. Um, I never would have done this if I hadn't had the PVC and wood shelves that paid dividends and paid for these these sort of shelves. Um, now we'll be purchasing more and I'm going to just use this grow room to pay for the next set and the next grow room to pay for the next set and then we'll just have this whole place full of the rolling shelves. Um, you can see that we've just done the same thing we've done before. We've done uh, what we do, a clinker built design, um, which that all that is is just framing walls in and then <clears throat> Let's see if I can get you. You can see we just use little screws with washers on them. Just little roofing screws. Um, and we do have in the back, not this wall right here next to me. Um, you can see that this one actually has some give. This is just a curtain. The incubation is on the other side right now. Um, and this is just to protect incubation from contamination and uh, any water, humidity, mold spores, or whatever that would get in there. But we use the roofing screws um, and the two-inch uh, green foam uh, green foam board for insulation. So the ceiling, 
the sides. All of that is insulated on this grow room. Um, and we'll, it is on the other grow room as well, since this is actually one big shell. And then we'll, we'll redo the other grow room later. But that is because normally I wouldn't worry about insulating so much, but because we've got an HRV that we're about to install and an HVAC system, the insulation actually will work really well for us because even though we've got such a high airflow coming through we'll have a heat return um, ventilation that will recover a lot of our energy costs so it makes sense now to, to really spend money insulating this place um, that said you can see that we've already stocked the new grow room and we are doing it mostly herisium right now part of that is the humidifier problem we are we do have some oysters in here especially some blotch sensitive strains like king blue um, Elm Z, things like that, things that will blotch a little easier. Um, we ha we are trialing those in a drier room, and we may actually find that we like having a drier room and a wetter room. Um, but herisium can usually take a little bit drier conditions than oysters can, so we've decided to stock this room. So our usual flow through in a week in a grow room right now has been 168 12 pound blocks a week. Last week we did 288 because we were able to put a whole bunch of other blocks into this room. And this coming week we'll do the same thing, another 288. And I think that that's going to uh, obviously, <laughs> you know, just about double our production. And uh, is really going to make uh, us have a much larger reach. I'm looking to hit the counties, like we hit Knox County a lot and a little bit of Blount County. We got our first restaurants in Sevier County. I have got restaurants and re like just wanting, 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 wanting mushrooms right now, and it's, this room couldn't have come at a, a better time because demand is way up. And I've been packing for the past few weeks in anticipation for this room opening up. So uh, that said, um, oh, the the lighting on this one. So we just got uh, these are LED strip lights. They also came from that farm in Atlanta. Um, I'm really enjoying the amount of light these are putting off. They are mostly vapor sealed um, so that they're protected from large amounts of humidity and they are, <coughs> excuse me, um, they are quite bright and in a spectrum I really like. This, uh, this is about the 6500 Kelvin spectrum which is considered you know a daylight spectrum um, which is perfect for video work and uh, for the mushroom growth to get their best colors. So you can also see in this room we have wood. This is actually one of the pillars that goes all the way to the ceiling in the top of the warehouse. And normally we would not have this exposed, but um, I'll get you some B-roll of it so you can just take a quick look at it. It is covered in resin, and we have made sure to really fill in all the gaps and cracks and everything uh, to, to coat it and protect it. Um, we were going to do it with a colored latex, like a white or a black. Um, I just wanted to keep that wood look, so we just went with a clear, clear resin. Rather Ben did. Ben spent a lot of time injecting resin into all the little crevices <laughs> with uh, some of our liquid culture needles so um that said guys i really just wanted to update you all on the new grow room situation um and a problem i was having and the solution that we already had on hand in a few days i'm expecting to get um my uh, house of hydro set up in and get that sweet sweet fog in this room as well and uh i think after that this room is really going to be putting out the mushrooms. So, um, if you guys have any questions, please send them in the comments below. Uh, when this goes live, I'll be uh, answering all of the comments that I can from the previous video, and then try to come back here and answer all of these. Um, <laughs> I'm just so stoked, guys! I cannot believe it's finally here. I know we had planned on having this grow. We planned on having three grow rooms installed and running within about six months of. Um, taking the keys in this place March 16th, March 15th of 2020. And we've been here about a year running on one grow room, excuse me, because 2020 put a wrench in a lot of things. Um, we weren't really stifled for business so much, but finding labor was really, really difficult. Um, and then beyond that, just getting everything installed. I mean, Ben and Bill, ended up putting these grow rooms together, but we had so many other issues that they were having to constantly take care of while we got this place up and running. So I, I am just so stoked to have these two grow rooms coming in, to have this one running now so that we can double our production. And then very soon in the next few weeks, 
room number three is going up and we're gonna be able to triple our production from what we originally have had here so this will be this will be the first time this week when we harvest these mushrooms this will be the first time that I have harvested more mushrooms than what we were growing in the basement because now we have the space so with that said you guys should see a lot more strains being trialed a lot more strains going up on the website hopefully a lot of beautiful video coming out of this room and uh, yeah y'all just you know keep spawning culture P.S. We're making baggers and shipping baggers. And really when I say we, I mean we, as in Ben and Bill over at Man of War Manufacturing. Um, you guys may not have known that Ben has already started his own business now called Man of War Manufacturing. And they right now are primarily doing baggers, but they are working on other types of equipment that we can start selling for people. He's been sold a couple of flow hoods and whatnot. But that said, I just got to tell you about the new Thor. The new Thor rocks, oh my goodness. So we still have, I think Ben said five um, in stock of the old style. The old style bagger has, it, it just means that it's, it's a 10 to 12 pound bagger. Um, and it's because the, uh, it's got the new depositor, the solids depositor on it that, deposit, that deposits the pellets, um, which can be configured. Like Ben and, and Bill have got, a, it's beautiful. You can get this, <laughs> You can, you can variate your recipe and get your changeover done in about two minutes. It's beautiful. Um, you can do a 60-40, a 50-50, a 30-70, etc. with the uh, um, 10 to 12 pound baggers. Now, that said, those are 1850 still, the old style. Um, and you can get those now on mushroommediaonline.com as well as our own website. You go through mushroommediaonline.com with Seth Fisher. If you are wanting it shipped to you, if you're wanting local pickup here at our place, please order through our website and we'll get you a bagger made and set up on the dock and you can come pick it up at your leisure. Um, that said, there's even more exciting news. We have a new and improved Thor coming out. Um, this new one is, uh, the first ones are getting finished tomorrow, the first uh, production models, not the uh, prototype. They have a new improved water system. A new, the new depositing heads, which are cleaner, they don't eject um, hardly any uh, pellets or anything when they're doing production, so it's a very clean process now. The water systems can be set up to where you can now do a 5-pound bag or a 12-pound bag with our baggers. Um, when you get to the extremes on the 5 to 12 pound, your, your fluctuations and uh, your variation in your recipes gets a little smaller, but if you're doing a 10-pound bag, I mean, you can do pretty much anything. So if you're working with beet pulp or black hole sunflower seeds, straw or sawdust or any of those types of pellets, you can now customize your recipe. And the changeover uh, for the water system and the solids, I think Ben said he got one done in about two minutes. That's just two minutes to change over from a five pound bag recipe to a 12. Then beyond that, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the same old speed, a little faster than a bag every six seconds or so. Um, which is faster than your folders can keep up with and on top of that Thor now comes on casters Which means he is easy to move around your op Thor is truly becoming the friend of man Really the friend of mushroom farmers. I guess I should say though. You know if all man's eating those mushrooms He's still friend of man. So I don't know what I'm talking about that said Please check out mushroommediaonline.com uh, For a, if you want to get Thor shipped to you remember that we've got five more left of the older slightly cheaper model at 1850 um, and the new baggers that are coming out will run two thousand uh, dollars with the new improved water system and depositing head and come on casters also but now that they get that cnc the baggers are coming out looking sick so and by sick i mean oh man i didn't think about pandemic times is sick still a good thing or are we now saying that's a bad thing it doesn't matter thor's amazing i love our baggers enough said